Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Welcome to year three of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher, and write us a review. Today's selection is the entirety of Surah 66, At-Tahrim, or the Prohibition, verses 1 through 12. The topics covered in this surah are, Do not make something lawful which Allah has made unlawful. The wives of the Prophet, peace be upon him, are admonished regarding their behavior with him. Believers are commanded to turn to Allah in repentance. And lastly, the examples of the wives of Noah and Lot, who will go to hell, while the wives of the Pharaoh of Egypt and Maryam, mother of Prophet Jesus, will go to paradise. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. O Prophet, why do you seek something unlawful, which Allah has made lawful to you in seeking to please your wives? Allah is forgiving and merciful. Allah has already given you absolution from such oaths. Allah is your master, and he is the knowledgeable, the wise. When the Prophet confided a secret to one of his wives, she disclosed this secret to another, and Allah informed him about it. The Prophet made known to the said wife a part of it, and avoided mentioning the rest. So when he told her about this disclosure, she asked, Who told you this? He replied, I was informed by him who was all-knowing, all-aware. If you both, that is Hafsa and Aisha, the Prophet's wives, turn in repentance to Allah, for your hearts have sinned, you shall be pardoned. And if you back up each other against him, against the Prophet, then you should know that his protectors are Allah, Gabriel, and all righteous believers. Furthermore, the angels too are his supporters. It may well be that if he divorces you all, his Lord will give him in your place better wives than yourselves, submissive, faithful, obedient, penitent, worshippers, and keepers of fasts, be they previously married or virgins. O believers, save yourselves and your families from hellfire, whose fuel is men and stones, in the charge of fierce and mighty angels who never disobey Allah's command, and who promptly do what they are commanded to do. They will say to the unbelievers, O unbelievers, make no excuses for yourselves this day. You are being rewarded according to your deeds. O believers, turn to Allah in sincere repentance. It may well be that your Lord will remove from you your sins and admit you to gardens beneath which rivers flow. On that day, Allah will not humiliate the Prophet and those who believe with him. Their light will shine in front of them, and on their right, and they will say, Our Lord, perfect our light for us and grant us forgiveness, for you have power over all things. O Prophet, peace be upon him, make jihad or struggle against the unbelievers and the hypocrites, and deal sternly with them. Hell shall be their home, and that is an evil abode. Allah has set an example to the unbelievers in the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. They were married to two of our righteous servants, but they betrayed them. In no way could their husbands protect them from Allah. Both of them were told, Enter the fire along with those who enter. And for the believers, Allah has set an example in the wife of the Pharaoh of Egypt, who said, My Lord, build for me a house as a special favor from you in paradise. Deliver me from Pharaoh and his misdeeds, and save me from the wicked nation. Another example is the life of Maryam, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, and into whose womb we breathed of our spirit, who testified to the words of her Lord, and his scriptures, and was one of the obedient. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. 
or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including the text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.